whoa so I'm trying to get this in focus um so you guys are looking at my bullet journal right now today's video is going to be about my makeup rules for 2019 um up here I just have my makeup inventory which I started with at the year um also I'm including nail polishes the rules I want to follow and then brands that I want to try so I want to budget probably about $40 per month. I want to try to stick within that price range. Um, I also want to not purchase on credit. Um, so anything I buy, I have to spend my actual money on. Um, I'm limiting myself to three eyeshadow palettes, so they have to be super special. Um, and you guys will see if I purchase anything in like the shop my stashes or anything like that. I want to finish at least two lip products or finish at least two lip products before bringing one in and also including declutters in this as well and same for nail polish because I want to bring my nail polish numbers down. Um, I don't need any lip liners or eyeliners. Uh, I just don't need them. I forget about them unless it's like the liquid felt tip liners for my eyes. I'm not going to use it. And then I also want to do a no buy for my drugstore makeup because it's too easy for me to pick up and then just grab it and without thinking. So I'm doing a no buy drugstore because I tend to think a little bit more about my higher end purchases. For brands I want to try, I want to try more of Bare Minerals, like their eyeshadows, um, the Nude Sticks. Laura Geller, I've been really interested in their balance and brightened blushes, like the baked ones. Ella and Myla, which is a nail polish company, they also do some lip products. Um, Hourglass, the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette is the one that's really intriguing me. And then also Charlotte Tilbury. They have a cream eyeliner that I really want, or not eyeliner, but eyeshadow that I really want to try. So you guys will see that in Shop My Stashes or anything like that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!